What's up, everybody? This is Jason, a zombie collector, and I have a review of a film that I wanted to discuss, a movie I'd never seen before, and quite frankly, I never heard of. I even asked my, my dad, have you ever heard of this film? And he said no, but when I told him the pedigree of people behind it, he was like, wow, I don't know how I missed it. Uh, this is Last Train from Gun Hill, starring Kirk Douglas and Anthony Quinn, and um, it was a very good movie, a very surprising movie, a really dark movie, to be honest with you. Um, uh, uh, Kirk Douglas plays, I think, Matt Morgan. I will kind of look over here because there's a names and stuff. I always get confused, but he plays Matt Morgan, uh, a U.S. Marshal. Anthony Quinn plays, I believe, uh, Craig Belden, a cattle baron. And they're, they're best buds, or pals. And uh, he, uh, they both live and work in this area of the West. And um, so one day, uh, his uh, Matt Morgan's wife is coming back from away, and uh, a young man uh, uh, attacks her, and uh, he ends up raping and killing her. And I'm, this movie came out like the early 50s, I think, I want to say. No, 59, sorry. So it came out 59. And um, they don't really shy away from talking about what had happened. And, uh, you know, it's it's pretty intense. I mean, he kept, uh, she's an Indian Native American. They keep calling her an Indian and a squaw and all this kind of stuff. So it makes it, you know, really even worse on top of what happened. Uh, and he's trying to find out who ended up killing his wife. And their son is with them in, this, uh, in, the, in, the, in the wagon, I believe, as they're traveling back into the town they live in, uh, I guess, Gun Hill. And uh, his son escapes and is able to, uh, to identify the, the killer, which happens to be Anthony Quinn's son. So this is where it gets, you know, interesting. So, of course, he's being a U.S. Marshal, and, of course, his wife being raped and murdered. Uh, he is definitely 100% committed to bring in this uh, man to justice. And, of course, Anthony Quinn being a very powerful, very wealthy uh, cattle baron, he just is like, well, this can't happen. I don't care if we're friends. I don't care if you're the law around these parts. You're not going to get my son. And you're not going to, of course, he's going to end up being hung or whatever for the crimes that he had committed. So the whole movie is him trying to get a hold of the son. He doesn't want to kill him. He wants to bring him to justice, and the way he only can do that is away from there, because if it's around there, he owns, you know, Anthony Quinn's character owns everything. It's pretty much his town, um, and so he has to capture him, get him on the train, the last train from Gun Hill, and to get him to a safe place where he'll have a fair trial to, to be brought up on the charges. So he eventually captures the young man, and he holds him up in, like, a hotel you know, like a gun saloon hotel, which is very common during this time. And, you know, they have a lot of this back and forth arguing. You know, he's like threatening to kill him. And, you know, he's, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, gets right there to the edge and thinks he's just going to kill him. He has him like handcuffed to a bed so he can't escape. And they're like blowing holes through the walls trying to get to uh, Matt, Matt Morgan, the Kirk Douglas character. Uh, he keeps trying to, he's shooting the, he's shooting the, Quinn's, like, you know, all his handlers, all his, like, cattle, cattle, cattle pokes or whatever, cowboys, he's killing them, and, you know, Anthony Quinn, he, he finally convinces him to get him, let him come up to the hat, up to the room to try to talk some sense into Matt Morgan, and, of course, he's trying to, you know, bamboozle him, because at the same time he's getting in there to try to distract him, they're trying to find a way to kill, now, you know, uh, the Douglas character, so they're trying to come up with all these schemes uh, to a way to get get him uh, rid of him so his son can get off and not serve or not be brought to justice. And there's like, quite a few attempts. And so I don't want to give away the end of the movie because it's, um, you know, hopefully I give you enough meat on the bone to make you want to go watch this film. I picked it up at a pawn shop for like a buck. And it was awesome. It's in widescreen. It's in color, this version. There's no special features on it, but man, this is a really good movie with some really great acting. The director, John Sturgis, is a, is a, is a director onto himself. He obviously did Gunfight at the OK Corral. He did The Great Escape. So, I mean, he did a lot of movies that he's well known for. And, um, I mean, the movie is absolutely a fantastic western. I mean, 
for a movie I've never heard of, uh, you know, I never knew it existed. Like I said, I spoke to my pops about it. He never heard of it. I don't know how this movie has not really gotten more, um, you know, light shine down on and shown on it. I don't know how that has happened because it's an excellent, excellent film. Uh, there's just really good acting. I mean, it's the, you know, just, uh, you know, you can definitely tell it's a, you know, a movie of its time. Uh, but it definitely has, uh, like, it, it's very gritty. I mean, the subject matter is very gritty. Anytime when somebody is murdered, of course, and then you add uh, being sexually abused on top of it, being that it's his wife, and then, like, you know, now you're talking about the, the, the father is having to try to protect the son, even though the son is a terrible, horrible person. He goes so far as to wanting to kill, you know, his buddy because he wants his son to, to live, and that, what you're going through there, I mean, you know, there's a lot going on. It's not just very cut and dry. And, I mean, you know, Anthony Quinn, you know, he's a... He's a, essentially a bad guy, but what would you do if it was your son? You know what I'm saying? And I, I definitely understand that that um, that fight within oneself that you need that person to, needs to serve its time, serve his time, and he needs to be brought to justice. But at the end of the day, it's still your son, so it's it's that hard fight. And I think they do a good job of him wanting to, you know, he struggles with that, but he comes down on the end of well, I'm going to do whatever it takes to keep my son that, out out of jail and not, you know, not being brought up on those charges, which obviously is not the correct approach, but you can see it from his perspective of, it's still your baby, you know? And even though he did a horrible thing and there's no excuse for that, at the end of the day, that's still your son. So it's, it, it's a, there's some layers to it, and I appreciate that. So anyways, I hope I gave people enough information to go check this movie out. It is a movie that I, you know, think it's, it's criminally, surprisingly, not talked about, it, and I didn't know anything about it myself. So hopefully, I'm bringing it to a few people to give this movie a, a old look and see what you think. So uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about the movie. If you've seen it, what's your thoughts? Um, if you haven't seen it, you know, have I maybe encouraged you to give it a shot? And uh, let me know in uh, the comments below. That's mostly what all I care about is the comment section. So hope you all enjoyed. It. Until next time, peace. Thank you for watching.